we're here once again. It's Anna from Spain. And Anita from the Netherlands. Hi guys, we're back. And, Hello. The, and the famous Kiki. Let, let's have a Kiki. Go, something, something. What's the name? Yes. Let's have a Kiki. I want to have a Kiki. But we want to have a Kiki. Let's Kiki. Let's Kiki. Okay, yeah. Hi, we're back. And welcome to Pro Gringos Provada Food. <laughs> <laughs> That's her for, for, for food. <laughs> no, wait, how, how do you say food? Comida? No, food. Yeah. How do you say food? You say he food? keeps right. Comida. I was right. I said comida. Yeah. We're here to provide la comida. No, you didn't You didn't say your names and where you're from, girls. Oh, yeah. Um, um, I'm Maggie from Kosovo. And I am Chiara and I'm from Venezuela. Very good. And what are you girls trying today? So it looks like today we're going to try caldo de frango con milio. Caldo de frango con milio. Yeah, that was perfect. Spot on. It's like I'm just going to do it fast. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Much easier. Your two are getting really fluent in Portuguese by now. <laughs> oh, it is happening. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'll add it to my CV. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Definitely. We're, we're trying the, um, hold on, caldo de frango. That one, gom milo. That one, that she just said there. Mm. Next time we'll have Maggie reading first because it's harder for her. It's too close to Spanish. It's too close to Spanish. Caldo de frango. Well, I know now, caldo de frango, you know. Very good. Okay, girls, so any idea what it is before you dip the game, like from the looks, from the smell, from the name? It's like chicken soup. Chicken soup. With great. Great wow. guess. So yeah, it is it is a chicken soup. Okay, in Brazil, of course, it's hot most of the year, but in winter we love eating soups. And this is like a chicken soup with corn. So two ingredients that we would use a lot in Brazil. Okay, girls. So you the food you're trying today is from Aline's kitchen. Okay. Mm -hmm. As the one you have been trying uh, in a different videos we did already. Uh, and let's see. So this this is like um one of the traditional soups we would make in Brazil, mm. right? Simple yeah. food, comfort food, and yeah, let's see what you think. I love so I understand that this is chicken soup because yes. it's from my trip to Portugal. I must say that I just, I love soups in general. I am um, a big fan of soups and a bit old fashioned. Mm. And I'm really excited about this one. It already smells good. It smells so good. <laughs> I'm going to mix it a bit just to get all the ingredients. This is going to give us some like flashbacks to mm. yeah. home. So we're going to go straight into it. We're going to dive straight in. I'm going to test it now. Okay, here we go. Wow, it's super salty for me. If I'm sick, I will love this. If I'm hungover, I would love this. Yeah, that's true. Mmm, <laughs> mmm. Yeah, really good. Oh, that's yummy. That's very yummy. I can taste chicken, I think some parsley. I'm not sure. I see corn. Yeah, there's oh, corn as well. Mm. It's so flavorful. Mm. I love it. I don't know if it's that flavorful because of the bits of chicken that are in it or because she probably uses um, chicken stock. No, I like wouldn't it. say, I don't think she uses chicken stock, to be honest, uh, unless she makes it, it herself because everything she makes is like from scratch, you know, mm. really flavorful, mm. like homemade. Mm. Wow. Yeah, really yummy. Um, this is this is the type of soups that I love having, especially at nighttime when you don't want to go to bed with a very very full stomach. Yeah, girl, a bit too salty, but wow, for me it's perfect. Oh yeah, if you're hungover most of the time, you will like something like this. I prefer well, a burger, but I wouldn't mind this. You know, I wouldn't mind this. No, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Now, do you you eat a lot of soup in your countries? In mine, yes, we do. Yeah, well, yeah, we we, but it's more often to have it with like the bone or with just the pieces of beef and loads of vegetables but in chunks the massive chunks yeah massive yeah chunks. we have the same i don't know oh. if it's yellow but we also have well we have different types of soup as well my mom makes this one with like natural yogurt and pieces of chicken oh girl is it cold is it a oh, cold soup no it's warm oh really yogurt mm-hmm oh, uh, interesting with yogurt with milk and some other stuff i don't know I, I'm gonna have to get you to try it. But my mom is here, she can make it. Oh yes, I would love that. We can invite some Brazilians yes. and some more people, you know, to try but, food but from your mom. Yeah, like gringo food. Maggie, oh, can you imagine? It would be amazing. Definitely. An exchange. That's a yeah. exchange. Yeah. An exchange. <laughs> food for another food from your own guest. Pretty much. Very good. Mm. Yeah, big fan of them. And because I'm a big fan of, of soups, I already know what I'm going to give it for a rating. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, that's it. I know it. I, I, yeah, this is a winner. It's a winner for me. It's a 10. This is 
Yeah, this is great too. It gives me like the... <coughs> Oi, okay. Chicken went the, the wrong way. Why did the chicken cross the road, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? You oh. need to lift your arms. Apparently, that's what they say. Lift your arms to let it flow. She got emotional. Yeah, when, you're, when you're dying, not now. Now you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what the score is for this soup, this Ooh. chicken soup. For me, just because it's a bit too salty, I would have to give it a nine. It's a bit too salty for my taste. Still very good. For me, it's a nine, but because it's super good already. Nine point eight something like that why can't you give it a 10 because it's, it's a 10 okay <laughs> you're saving you're saving for something that is even better yeah alina's kitchen thank you girl mm, mm -hmm. it's still pretty good eh? i'm giving her 9.8 and it's very good comfort food yeah yes i love it very good okay what's your rating for the cado de frango comillo what i think is that it gives me like um grandma vibes yeah. like your grandma will make this soup at least to me it seems very yeah chicken soup is very every, every country yeah i think it's chicken soup it's yeah I think so too. every country makes chicken soup yeah yeah i would love to know how to make it that flavorful even especially when you said that it probably doesn't have chicken broth and uh, because it's really amazing it's yeah, really no. amazing. she she makes everything from scratch and i mean i've tried a few of her things by now and oh my gosh i mean every time i try something this lady makes i'm just so impressed because the flavors are all over the place mm. it's amazing yeah it really explodes in your mouth so well done Aileen. and really happy um really happy to be able to taste your your uh, soups yeah i bet your family is happy as well so. <laughs> yeah <laughs> well done there well done yes yeah, so to me okay. it's a 10 right away right off the bat I think it's also very good. Maybe not a 10, maybe just a 9. But that's just because I have my own, you know, my family has a chicken soup recipe and it's always gonna be your favorite. Your favorite yeah. Yeah. No, of course. I think your grandma would make it. But this gets very close. Yeah. So yeah, I think it's really great. I would yeah. love to have soup, yeah. So girls, if people want to see you back to try more Brazilian food, what should they do? They have to subscribe, like, comment, share, and hit the notification bell. And Volta Gringos and the Volta the other Gringo. The Venezuela Gringo. The Venezuela Gringo. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think by now you'll know the drill. You know, if you want us back, remember to comment below Volta Gringos and we'll be back to try some more. Maybe another soup next time. We'll yeah. see. And don't forget, forget to like, share, and subscribe, guys. Beautiful. Thank you so much, girls. That was perfect.